If you've sat through any number of leadership conferences or scrolled through the vast array of TED Talks, you've encountered and considered time management strategies. Almost universally, experts agree that automation sits atop the time management pyramid. If you can identify a task that can be automated and take the time to develop a process for it, you'll get the greatest dividends in the long run. One way to appreciate the impact of automation is to imagine life without it. Consider jumping in the family station wagon for a cross-country road trip to visit Wally World, except you're in 1983, no longer with a smartphone or GPS. Such a scenario would reintroduce all types of problems and inefficiencies you haven't had to consider for years. Thankfully, we don't have to go back to those days of getting lost and finding the nearest open gas station, making pay phone calls to let people know when we're arriving, paper maps when you cross a new state border, the list goes on and on. Now we just need an address, punch it in, and you're on your way. While speaking of addressing, in SolidWorks Electrical, we have a feature that allows us to automatically calculate our PLC addressing. Your PLC's hardware programming will develop addressing based on its unique formatting. So for example, a certain manufacturer's address might look something like this, with a variable indicating if the card is using analog or digital inputs or outputs, then a slot variable, and then an address bit. Putting all this together is often useful to identify in our electrical drawings. Well, in SolidWorks Electrical, we can compute that using the physical address and then a formula that builds up a channel address within our project. Your PLC physical address is a part level piece of information. You'll find a column for it in your part library. Everything before the period indicates the module type. Is it an input or output? And what is the syntax from your program to identify? Additionally, everything after the period is the address bit. Again, you'll want to match the expectation of your programming software. Let's put it all together. Here we have our formula, first using the PLC channel type variable that looks at everything before the period in our part physical address. Then component value one reveals the slot component from the project PLC. And lastly, the PLC channel address variable is everything after the period on our manufacturer part. Putting that all together with the proper syntax gives us our complete computed channel address. So let's turn now to SolidWorks Electrical and put it all together. First, we wanna review where the project PLC address is computed. Go to your project configurations and you'll see the formula for calculation of PLC channel address. Here we have the PLC channel type, component value, PLC channel address, and some static text for proper syntax. Next we look at in the library, in the manufacturer parts section, our PLC components and the physical address construction. Going into the properties in the circuits and terminals tab, we have the physical address column. Now remember, everything before the period is the module type. Everything after the period is the bit address. SolidWorks Electrical will take those pieces of information to compute on the fly your channel addressing. Let's look now at our PLC manager. If you go to Project PLCs, here we can create our PLC components, set up our racks, and in those racks add our modules. The modules will have a position variable that tells us the slot, and from the manufacturer part information and the slot information, when we draw these and we're using the PLC channel address attribute, it will reveal that information automatically. Here we're looking at module three, which is in position four in our rack. Now we see from our physical address how SolidWorks Electrical computed the ultimate address. Let's draw it up by hitting insert PLC. I'll flip my orientation lay it out somewhere on the right side of my page, and review. If you need to make on-the-fly changes to a certain component, feel free to go into that PLC component properties, and we can address on a case-by-case -case basis your channel address formula. Plan out your PLC part properties and project formula and save time in the long run by automating your PLC channel address creation in SolidWorks Electrical. <laughs>